Whether cruising down highways in some of the world's largest cities or bumping along dirt roads to get to hard to reach villages, a missionary's daily commute can look very different from typical transportation in America. Here are some of the ways missionaries get around, around the world. Boats. In the Amazon jungle, dugout canoes facilitate trade and maintain communication between villages and cities. One journey can last three days or three weeks. Nevertheless, it is the only mode of transportation to further the gospel, said a missionary in Brazil. Metros. Light rail is commonplace in commutes for missionaries in the world's megacities. Metros are usually crowded, so riding the metro can be an exercise in letting go of personal space. Trains. In some locations, people spend days on the train to reach their destination. As missionaries roll across the countryside, children play with newfound friends, people swap stories, and the conductor sells ice cream. In India, the railroad is one of the country's most efficient modes of transportation. Cars. Cars are popular among the middle and upper class in South Asia, but there are a few major differences when driving a car in these countries. Missionaries must master the skill of driving on the left side of the road. Some roads are full of ruts and potholes. During the rainy season, some villages are completely inaccessible for months at a time. Without a four-wheel drive vehicle, said a missionary in Southeast Asia. Buses. Buses. Until recently, owning a car was too expensive for most East Asians. For the lower and middle classes, buses are affordable and accessible. In Kenya, matatus are brightly colored buses or vans operated by private owners. These vehicles are decorated with bright colors and unique decorations to get the attention of potential customers. Trucks. Trucks are a common sight in Sub-Saharan and North Africa. Some missionaries serve where seat belts are only a suggestion, and riding in the back of a truck with 14 of your closest friends is an acceptable mode of transportation. Motorbikes. Motorbikes. Motorbikes are a useful and inexpensive means of transportation. According to a worker in South Asia, motorbike drivers go anywhere on the road they want. Sidewalks, ditches, and in-between cars. Another worker in Southeast Asia confessed, seeing multiple people on a scooter at once always makes me smile. Bicycles. Bicycles. Missionaries often have the opportunity to learn to balance groceries and sometimes kids as they ride through some of the biggest biking cities in the world. Missionaries in Europe say that as a result of biking, they've had conversations with other cyclists and there has almost always been a chance to talk about Jesus. Animals. Animals. Some missionaries work with people who use more lively forms of transport like donkeys or camels. Camels were created to survive with little water and food, making them a great choice in rugged, dry terrain, even if they do spit sometimes. Donkey carts can still be seen in many Sub-Saharan African, Central Asian, and European villages. No matter the transportation, missionaries all over the world pray that God will place people in the seat next to them who need to hear about Jesus.